I've known these girls since we were all super, super young. She brings a very fiery intensity to the field. And we've been playing together forever. She wants to win. She's there to beat you. She has the passion. I just have fun and just um, go right at them, make people look stupid. A lot of people have, you know, four or five, maybe even six. Um, I throw three, and I just, I pride myself in being able to throw them with like 98% accuracy. Just three different pitches, but thousands of strikeouts, records, and multiple no hitters, clocking in at around an average of 68 miles per hour, the equivalent of a 98 mile per hour pitch on the Major League Diamond, with the mound 20 feet closer. Addison Fisher is one of, if not the, most dominant high school pitcher in the country. I started with a fastball, and a fastball should have a 6 to 12 spin just over the top. Um, and when it gets enough spin, that'll take it and it'll make it drop. So that fastball just turned into a drop ball, and that's just what I've thrown ever since. Um, and then I throw a change up, and then I throw a rise ball, and that's it. It's really something that I can't explain to other people unless you've hit against her or caught her because it's just incredible movement. It's so awesome to hear the way other people talk about it because that's when I really realize how good Addison is. Addison Fisher, a homegrown Ben kid. I've lived in the same house for as long as I've been alive. <laughs> Picking up the ball and a bat at an early age. Before she knew it, elite travel league teams were recruiting her. She wasn't my teammate for long because she ended up going up to like 18U when she was around, what, 12, 13 years old. It was around that age when Fisher was selected to play on a U.S. All-American team, and soon she realized the game she loves will take her places she only dreamed of. The time came to take the diamond at the high school level, but it came in the middle of a pandemic. The program really, I feel like it became super strong over quarantine because um, this was really our only outlet. Definitely tested our, um, just our love for the game. Test, they passed with flying colors. Bend High went undefeated, and Fisher won Gatorade Oregon Softball Player of the Year, the only freshman honoree of 51 softball players chosen nationwide. I didn't really know that it was that big of a deal, and I definitely didn't think I was going to win as a freshman. Sophomore year, back to normal. Ben High Softball and Fisher both receiving national attention. The Lava Bears, one of the highest rated high school teams in the country. Fisher, one of the top collegiate prospects. The team fell in the 6A semifinals game in extra innings, shattering the hopes of bringing home a state title. Now the top pitcher in the nation, on the first minute, the first second colleges were allowed to make contact, the best programs in the U.S. came calling. September 1st this year was crazy. Um, I got about 40 calls from Division I schools all over the country. Um, at midnight, my phone started blowing up. A early life lesson, it's not always easy being number one. I was very, very stressed and I was in tears like, because what if I make the wrong decision? After visits to different colleges, she found her dream. Once I stepped out in the UCLA uniform, it, I, like it did not, it wasn't real. I, I could have sworn that it just, it, it felt like a dream. Like it, I walked out and gave my parents a hug and they, we were all just so happy and it felt so right. For Fisher, the junior only has a few things left to conquer. My biggest goal is to win National Gatorade Player of the Year. Um, that's, that's been my goal since I won State Player of the Year as a freshman. And one more title she'll need some help claiming. To win a state championship with this team, I, that's really important to me. It's really important to all the seniors. I, I want to win it for them. It's not even for me. Like they've, I've known these girls since we were all super, super young. We've been playing together forever. So um, I really, I want to win a state title for them and they're going to play a big, big part of it. In Bend, Steel Haugen, Central Oregon Daily News.